Hi everybody, Laura here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring the Geometric Builder Squares Dies, which I'm having a love affair with, and I'm on a mission to make a card with every single one of these delicious dies. Today I'm just featuring this die right here, and I'm gonna die cut it repeatedly with all these gorgeous shades of solid color cardstock. See how I have families of three? That's because there's like three uh, in the die. There's like three, what do you call it? Angles. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So I, I, I rummaged through my uh, solid color cardstock and I, I'm not going to say I hoard because I use it, but I do love to buy it and store it and adore it and use it. So I have, uh, oh gosh, some of this is Simon's stamp. Uh, there's some uh, Lawn Fawn, some Hero Arts, uh, Concord Ninth. I love their new shades of solid color cardstock. So I just have it all. I have a mixture of brands and I love to combine them. And then now this square is just a solid square and I die cut this with white cardstock. These are what I call my backers. So for all the detailed geometric builder dies, I always like to do a backer and that way you can adhere all the pieces to the square and it helps me. I think, I don't know. I just think it's a great idea. Okay, so I cover the backer with tape runner, and then you just pop on the pieces. They snap together like a puzzle piece. And really, I mean, color combinations, a million and one ways you can do it. I went dark to light, and then light to dark with the green. Um, I just kind of like it. And then you kind of fiddle and futz until it's all lined up perfectly, and look at that. The precision of it all just lights my fire. Okay, so I'm gonna go to town. I think I did about eight of these squares. This is Schoolhouse Red, Lipstick Red, and a lighter red, which I can't remember, and then some gray, Slate, Smoke, and that might be the new um, Dove by Concord Knight. And oh gosh, I just love these shades together. I'm gonna continue doing this. So I would say this, what I'm making is like a moderate, slim line. It's not a full-blown slim line card, but it is a little bit taller or longer than a standard size. So uh, yeah, sometimes you just got to go with the design and make the card size fit it. And you know, I have that envelope punch board and I just make my own envelope. So I don't have to be restricted to only the standard size cards. You know what I mean? You got to live a little. Okay, so here we have our eight squares and this design, it's like a an optical illusion that is just a feast for the eye. So I have a, a card base here. My card base is six and three fourths inch tall by three and three fourths inch wide. And I put foam tape on the back of all the squares. Now I'm eyeballing this here, trying to center it. What I recommend is just lightly, barely set the square down until you get it centered and positioned. Once you get it how you like it, then press down because there might need to be a little fiddling and a little futzing until you get it just how you need it. Okay, so pops on there easy peasy and I'm loving this design. I even got a Bravo from the hubby. He loved it. He loved it. Okay, now for a sentiment, I'm going to keep it really simple. I didn't want to cover up too much of the design, but I wanted something. So I pulled out this beautiful butterflies, and I love that solid circle sentiment. I also like this thinking of you. This is how I decide on my sentiments. I lay the stamp over it, and I just see. You know, I get the lay of the land until I see what works. I decided on the solid circle one which says long distance hug, perfect for the times. You know, that's the way you social distance and send a hug. So I'm gonna die cut the sentiment with one of the nested circle dies. And I do cover the sentiment because that black ink, if you don't cover it, see all this excess ink? That will get on your cutting plate and then it'll ruin your next project. Ask me how I know. I learned that one the hard way. Actually, I did it a few times until I caught on. And then now I popped up that sentiment right in the center. No embellishments needed because this background geometric design is a show stopper. Okay, and I am sending all of you a long distance hug today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.